Hello and welcome to Bottom Line. Well, after nearly two and a half decades, the Congress has got its first non-Gandhi president today with Malik Arjun Kharge taking the president's post and winning the presidential polls of the AICC by a whooping majority. Kharge, in fact, secured 7,897 of the over 9,300 votes polled and emerged as the undisputed leader. Now, what does this mean for the Congress? The first non-Gandhi AICC president in 24 years. Well, the party is already under attack, especially from the BJP, which has cast doubts over the genuineness of the polls. This after Tharoor, Shashi Tharoor, earlier in the day, flagged the issue of polling irregularities in Uttar Pradesh. But can the Congress under Kharge rejuvenate itself? Can the Congress under Kharge come back on track? Or should we say, can Kharge shed the quote-unquote rubber stamp president tag as is being levelled by the party's opponents? Significantly, after conceding defeat to Kharge, Shashi Tharoor stated that there is a sense of disconnect among party workers, among some party workers, and much more needs to be done as far as the Congress is concerned. Well, Mr. Kharge definitely has his task cut out. That's what Tharoor indicated. Of course, he lent full support to the new AICC president, no denying to that. But has the AICC presidential polls further complicated things within the Congress? That's the question we are asking tonight, viewers. To discuss this, I'm being joined by working president of Manipur Congress, MPCC, Mr. Debebrata Singh, who is joining me from Imphal. I also have with me Nat, uh, Neta Chaudhary of the Assam Congress, Assam Congress spokesperson, who is with me in the studios in Guwahati. Also in the studios in Guwahati is BJP spokesperson Janki Goswami. And I will also be joined in course of a discussion by political analyst Avinab Borbora. Uh, first, coming to you, Mr. Debebrata Singh. Well, your first reactions, uh, the AICC has got the first non-Gandhi president. Your reactions as an MPCC member, as the working president of Manipur Congress. Yes. Uh, in fact, the uh, Congress party has started democratizing its process of electing its president. That's what Rahul Gandhi said today. Uh, he told the media in his media interaction today. Exactly the same. We have been trying very hard to go in for an election to elect the party president. All, all of us are happy, and our, every state now has also its own elected party president. Yes, uh, I also appreciate the uh, opinion tendered by Sasi Tharoor that all is not well in the uh, election process, because we are, after maybe two and a half decades, we are coming to election. So, uh, also done uh, in parallel with uh, Bharat Joro Yatra to big events of the Congress party. So uh, there may be some uh, uh, gift as is expected by the uh, uh, stakeholders and the, uh, is, it has been carried out, carried out by the AICC to elect its new president. The gap will be filled next time when it is properly and betterly done, then it will be all okay. But for the beginning, to have a non Gandhi or a new president, elected president, will change the party's functioning, uh, is placing its vision, working with the people, interacting with the people, and also in touching and realizing the people's mood that was not there in the last so many years. And it is a new beginning for Congress party. Mr. Kage was there, he was the leader of opposition in the House. Uh, anyway, but being an elected president, uh, now, whatever now, it now, is, uh, now, it Mr. is yeah. it will be different now. It will be different. Yeah, Mr. Debrabrata Singh, uh, before I come to you, uh, Mr. Chaudhary, uh, Mr. Debrabrata Singh, uh, Shashi Tharoor, Shashi Tharoor was also, uh, throughout the campaign, has also been considered a very popular candidate. In fact, many felt that this, is, this will be a tough contest, but it uh, turned out to be something else. Uh, as a Congress worker, as a Congress leader, as a Congress worker, how do you look at that, especially at a time when, uh, say, the BJP is raising questions uh, on the polling process? Mr. Dibhavita Singh, uh, this yes. for you. Yeah. So you are asking to me? Yeah. Uh, 
I will make it short. Uh, why? Because Sasi Tharoor is also very competent and a qualified person to be the party prisoner. And uh, Mr. Khage, everyone knows how old he is and how uh, uh, long he has been associating with Congress party. He rose from the grassroots level. Being a labor union leader, he became now the president of the party. Both of them are good enough to lead the party. Mr. Tharoor also will get his chance because he is still far younger than Mr. Kage. And I hope the situation, the situation, Mr. Tharoor will also help the party grow and become stronger uh, and assist Mr. Kage in his effort to ram the party as it is expected by all over the country. Mr. Chaudhary, uh, well, historic day, I should say, for the Congress, nevertheless. Yeah, so uh, today's historic day is a very invigorating day for us that we have now a regular president elected in due, due process to the party constitution, and we are very happy about it. We are really enthusiastic about what is happening with the party now. Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Nitranjan Chaudhary, uh, once again, big occasion, big day. But then, once again, as uh, Shashi Tharoor himself said, there are a lot of challenges for the new AICC president. And, uh, well, he mentioned during the press briefing after uh, the results, he did mention that uh, the, pa the party has, in a way, lost connect with a lot of workers. Well, first of all, I would like to thank uh, North This East after Life. he extended yeah. full support to Kharge, not that he is a sad loser, no. Yeah. So, first of all, I would like to thank uh, the Northeast uh, Life as well as all channels who are, you know, taking interest into this uh, Congress presidential elections, which otherwise was ruled out uh, in a Congress Mukh Bharat, as if, uh, you know, it, it's the days are over. But thanks to our media also for taking interest into these presidential elections, uh, which is unprecedented, you know, it, it, it's, as you have said, historical day. Uh, coming to Dr. Tharoor's case, I'm just quoting his own tweet today at 5 10, and it's a Hindi tweet, you know, Dr. Tharoor's tweet in Hindi. Wow. So what yes, he, he said... He's taken a lot of interest yeah. in Hindi of late. Exactly. That's so what he mentioned, I think that summarizes, you know, a lot of things. Udhar bhi apne hi the, sab ki sab. Idhar bhi apne hai, apne the, sare ki sare. Tum jo zito, to bhala kya zite. हम जो हरे तो भला क्या हरे कांग्रेस परिवार की जीत पर सबको बधाई जॉय कांग्रेस सो आई थिंक दैट समराइजेस द होल यू नो पॉइंट यू नो दिस इज यू नो इट्स अ विन फॉर अ कांग्रेस पार्टी इट्स एन एज आई सेड इट्स एन अनप्रेसिडेंटेड थिंग यू नो हिस्टोरिकल डे एंड 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 वी वी हैव गॉट अ यू नो प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ क्लोज 24 आवर्स ऑफ इयर्स यू नो व्हिच आई थिंक नो अदर पॉलिटिकल पार्टी हैज एवर डन सो so it, it, it's a really historical day. We, we, we are excited. Uh, Chanki Goswami, well, uh, it's an internal matter of the Congress, uh, of course, the AICC polls. Uh, but again, uh, it's a BJP which is uh, raising the issue of a quote-unquote uh, uh, rubber stamp chief as far as Kharge is concerned. Also, uh, in a way, raising questions to the poll process. And uh, definitely, definitely, uh, probably the Congress cannot deny uh, that uh, at least one of the two candidates was backed probably by the Gandhi Parivar and the results are there for everyone to see. See, I have listened uh, to the comments of both our respected panelists. And uh, now, uh, having all said and done, uh, what I have to say is that the Gandhi family still holds, completely holds, the proprietorial rights of the Congress Party. Because if you look at this election, the entire process of election, it was nothing but it was just autocracy and hypocrisy hidden under, hidden under the, uh, uh, the face that they wanted to put up was that it's a democratic method of election. It is nothing but autocracy and hypocrisy hidden under democracy. What kind of democracy is it? And why is the democracy now after 24 years, when they have been repeatedly having, if you observe their list of presidents, the Congress Party's list of presidents, you will see that since 1978 till date, it has only been the Gandhi family, except only on two occasions, which he will also agree, except only on two occasions, once when uh, P.V. Narasim Harao was the president and once when Sitaram Kesri was the president. Other than that, it has always been Gandhi, Gandhi, Gandhi. The second name has always been constantly Gandhi. 
So now, why suddenly this show, you know, of democracy that we are going to elect or we are going to choose the president? And and another thing, uh, you tell me, Navarro, there were two candidates. Both can, can candidates are from the Congress Party. Both are from uh, uh, from the southeastern uh, southern part of our country. What is where did the difference lie? Why did one candidate get only one thousand votes and the other candidate get only eight thousand votes? Where w did this influence come from? Was this was was the election entire election conducted under some kind of influence? What kind of influence was that? I'll, I'll take and, and before yeah. the elections were held, every needle was pointing towards the win of Malikarjun Kharge. All we, you and I could also say that, that probably Malikarjun, not probably, 99% Malikarjun Kharge is going to win. So where is the democracy? Why the show of this democracy? Netranjan Chaudhary, respond. Well, yeah, well, thanks for raising this issue. Yes, I do agree that, you know, in fact, when um, Sonia, uh, Madam Sonia Gandhi became um, Congress chief in 1998, it's true that BGP had got its nine presidents, that's true. But what about their elections? Can they give in any instance where the president was elected? Even let me tell you that, so you that's know... That's what the BGP is saying. No, it no, is, that's what, you know, even... It's quote-unquote fake democracy. What's, that's, no, what no. The, that, that, that's what the BJP charge is. So what they are exampling, uh, are they ensuring democracy? They are being selected. Their presidents are getting selected. Now, on coming 20th July, on January 2023, the term of J.P. Nadda is ending. So, are they going to uh, conduct similar elections? Probably, no. we will look for you know that information. And also, look, uh, we don't want to compare Dr. Tharoor versus Dr. Kharge. This is not the occasion for this. But then, coming to um, Dr. Kharge, why he, not? Why not? Especially when the when the Congress is in such a situation, probably that's that's uh, what a lot of people would be no, asking. We are happy. Why? We I are mean, happy. We are happy that today. Yes, it's a, a victory Kamdar, of the Congress. No, 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 why, that. no, no. Not only for that. It's a Kamdar. A Kamdar has been you know elected as a president, which you know I think BJP will be might, might be frustrated. You know what going to be the next um, agenda, but then we are really happy that Kamda is today the president of um, uh, Congress Party at the age of eighty. Yeah. So you yeah. cannot. Yeah, Mr. Devabrata Singh so wants to make a point. Under, okay. Yeah, Mr. Devabrata Singh. Okay. Okay. Uh, we 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 are having some audio issues there. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, I, I can hear you now. Uh, uh, why most people voted uh, for Mr. Kharge is that he is from grassroots leadership. He came as a joint congress as a labor leader and I came up to the level that what he is being elected today. This is the emotion involved because a person like Mr. Kharge could compete with Sashi Tharun because he, who is the non uh, uh, qualified and he's, uh, he was a diplomat. Everyone knows his qualification. In spite of that, the person who rose from the ground has been given the opportunity to run the party, rebound the party, and this is very good encouragement. This is going to rebuild the party. I believe the reason why Mr. Kage was elected, the fundamental uh, thing that we have been lacking over the years, and this will change a lot, and the young people and the new generations of people will join the Congress party to rebuild the party and to its uh, past glory. We believe that. This is one of the very, we also consider Mr. Tharoor to be the party president. We, we uh, seriously consider about it. We are very happy that he come forward and uh, try to uh, attempt to be, to change the party. We agree with him at some point of time, we may also come back to him when the time comes. But at the moment, somebody has to rose from the ground and be leader of the party. That is the main point why Lord, Lord had given vote to Mr. Khan. Yeah, when it comes to the working of the Congress party, they cannot think of the party beyond the Gandhi family. Now, even after getting elected, the, the one statement that Malikarjun Kharge has issued is that we'll have no shame in taking support from the Gandhi family. What does he mean by that? We'll have no shame in taking support. Yes, he can take support. But where does this question of shame come from? That means within, within themselves, they always have these guilt pangs that they are under the umbrella of the, they are functioning totally under the umbrella of the Congress party. And moreover, more, moreover, I, what I feel is that this is going to be another rubber stamp politics. You know, Congress believes in puppet show. They, they had, 
I am sorry to say this, but it has al already been focused that way. They had a prime minister who played a puppet to the party, who played a puppet to the uh, Gandhi family. And now they have a puppet president, puppet party president, who is also going to play. See, they can make a, a similar claim about the BJP. They can see, say BJP, it's, it's again, a duo again, of Shah Modi very, running the BJP. Mr. That's Net, what the Congress Ms. has been Ms. saying Mr. at the Natham, same time, I'm sure. Mr. Chaudhary, uh, has, just now, Mr. Chaudhary has just now said, do you have elections? But let me ask him how many elections they had. They had many change of presidents. It is either Andira Gandhi or Rajiv Gandhi or Rahul Gandhi or Sonia Gandhi. Within these changes, how many elections did they have? They had only two elections. They had only one election in the last 24 years and now they are talking about this election. We don't need to have an election because it is always a consensual candidate in our case, number one. And number two, your elections are not fair. Your elections are not fair. So we better That's not talk charge, about... That's a big charge. Big charge. Nitra didn't talk about the elections the BJP, that you are holding. No, the, the main it is issue, just an eyewash to the public. No, but actually the thing is that BJP is obviously frustrated because they have lost a you know, uh, uh, a solid agenda. They were, you know, banking on a Namdar versus Kamdar. Now that we have shown uh, through this, you know, well, uh, uh, massive exercise of democratic internal policy of, uh, you know, electing this president. Now, uh, can somebody tell me of this nine presidents, last nine presidents that BJP had, while uh, Madam Sonia Ji was uh, the president in Congress, how many of them were selected? I mean, elected. They were all selected, let me tell you. So, where some in a party where their own president is selected, there is no instance but of Sonia elections. Gandhi elected. Then, then they should not, you know, uh, raise this type of question. They don't but have Sonia any moral Gandhi right. Elected. Now, the main issue is that question. they are getting frustrated that why, how can a Kamdar, you know, president uh, Congress can have and what they are going to say. Because honestly, they are really running out of any agenda to discuss. The only agenda they had, the Namdar versus Kamdar, that is also gone. So, obviously, they are frustrated and that is being reflected here also. I'll, I'll, I'll come to it, but we have a breaking news coming in. Uh, well, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is likely to visit Nagaland uh, towards the end of this month, uh, after October 20th to be precise. And as per reliable sources, President of India, Draupadi Murmu, will also be arriving to Nagaland on a two-day visit on November 2nd and 3rd. So crucial uh, Prime Minister's visit uh, anytime this 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 month. And, and also one more breaking news relating to Nagaland, relating to Naga peace talks. Uh, NSC and I am General Secretary uh, Twinkalang Muiva will be flying to New Delhi next week, of course, uh, to, 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 to once again take part in the talks. Uh, first round of talks was held last month between the NSC and I am and the Central Interlocutor, and now it's 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 a big breaking. Muiva, TH Muiva will be flying to Delhi this week. So, well, significant development as far as the Naga Peace Talks is concerned. Now, uh, Nitranjan Chaudhary, uh, coming back to the issue, the topic, uh, we all saw the kind of, uh, you know, welcome accorded to Kharge and Tharoor in Assam. And uh, you know what I'm trying to say here. We didn't see the same kind of uh, deception probably for Tharoor. Now, you might say it's the choice of the party members, it's the choice of the Congress delegates. After all, it was campaigning, it was an election and so. But uh, was, was the writing on the wall clear that yes, probably the Congress is, the high command is actually backing Kharge? Was that an indication? That's a question being raised. Well, that's a perception only and some, uh, some people's imagination, but that's not uh, ground reality. Yes, everybody has their own choices of a particular candidacy, uh, you know, and, 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 and if you see the competency between the, you know, Dr. Tharoor and uh, Kharge also, you know, um, the way they were contesting, you know, it, it, it was, it was amazing exhibitions of democratic. But having said that, yes, definitely people might have their own choices and we have to respect that. So, uh, otherwise there is no access to instructions or it's, as, as the BJP is saying, you know, uh, you know, uh, it's a programmed elections, it's nothing like that. It's, it's only their frustrations only and, and some people's imaginations. And, but yes, I do agree. Uh, there are challenges, they had a lot of, uh, you know, um, questions to be addressed and a lot of things to be, you know, uh, uh, done, you know, on ground. So I think that's definitely going to be a challenge and, uh, uh, for the new president. And as you have said, that this, uh, um, he is very much optimistic and uh, very soon you will see the results also. Uh, Mr. Devarbhata Singh, uh, shifting focus a bit, 
has the Congress story being uh, a lot been a lot to do about misplaced priorities in the last decade or so, or should I say at least in the last eight years? Why I'm saying this at a time when two states, Gujarat, Himachal, are going to polls, we are having a, something called a Bharat Jodo Yatra by Mr. Rahul Gandhi. Uh, several senior Congress leaders have also requested Mr. Gandhi to immediately halt the Yatra and focus on Gujarat and Himachal. After all, after all, it's about winning, winning the poll battle. So what next for the Congress? Yes, all good. You had the elections after 24 years, after two decades. Uh, you have a new AICC chief. What next for the Congress, including in the Northeast? Uh, yes, uh, in fact, Congress has a lot of priorities. And the Bharat Zoro Yatra, that is to connect with the people for the specific cause that we, have, we are declaring, it is also important. At the same time, parallel to that, the newly elected party president will look after the elections for two states, or the more other states that is coming following that. And uh, uh, this, uh, these priorities, we have to face it, and uh, we have to overcome it, and uh, we have to be successful in that. Therefore, a lot of players, Rahul Gandhi is, it, is uh, now leading Bharat Jodha Yatra. He will be stuck up with that Yatra till uh, last week of January or February, uh, middle. Uh, then Mr. Khage has to look after the day-to-day -day affairs of the party and he has to run for the elections and all these things he has to carry out because he has been given the mandate to carry on with the party's full-time activity and uh, we hope he will take care of it with his colleagues. Is uh, more of uh, what is coming about is uh, more of a collective leadership commanded by him. And we are very hopeful that we'll be able to test whatever challenges we are having now in our uh, front. Uh, we can do better at the situation because Congress party now has come up and uh, come on the road and we are facing the people, listening to them and trying to address their advances, problems and issues. At the same time also finding our limitations, our weaknesses. These things will change something and somehow we may be able to uh, redefine our priorities more when the next election, 2024 Lok Sabha election comes and that will be our better day. Janki Goswami, uh, in a way, in a way is the BJP happy that a vocal Shashi Tharoor is not the new president of the AICC? Not at all. There, there's no could be, I mean, who their president is, how they are uh, handling their politics does not actually affect us so it could have been anybody it could have been anybody but why my uh, point of interest is why not Sashi Tharoor and what was the interplay what was the uh, what was the drama going on inside that you know as I told you both are from South India both are Congress leaders uh, Sashi Tharoor in fact is uh, is a probably uh, more popular in certain ways uh, he being a scholar of some sort. And so why, why Shashi Tharoor ended, ended up with just 1,000 votes? And whereas Malikarjun Karge got 8,000 votes. What was the interplay? And another thing, uh, they are trying to portray uh, this new, you know, newly in evolved uh, democracy within the party, which they are trying to portray to the people. It is nothing but just an eyewash. And what I feel is that they are now involved in mimicry politics. They have seen that BJP has a very fair, free and fair system of choosing their president. So since it was a big question on them from, it, there was a big question and there was a big uh, uh, dissatisfaction probably within the workers also about uh, the presidential, the president that they have because they have been, as I told you, they have been having the same second name for their president since 1978 except for two changes twice so they wanted uh, this to change this image and that's why they mimicked us they mimicked our system of democracy bjp's system of democracy into their system which i feel didn't work well i still don't uh, feel there would be a quick uh, response from any, you a quick response from you change after the Mr. election Chaudhary, of malikarjun quick response from you well i think if bjp feels that you know there could be a better democratic process so why don't they uh, uh, conduct these presidential elections when the you know doctor i mean the their current presidency term is over by january 20th and demonstrate it 
I mean, see, the thing is that, as I told you earlier, they are getting frustrated because now they cannot say about this Khamdar and Namda things, you know. I think uh, rather than they should focus on the other burning issues of their Raj Dharma like inflation, why the hunger index in India is going a, down, all this. I will also take a quick reaction from Mr. Debaprata saying, yes, sir. you want to make a point, Mr. Singh. Yes. For BJP, is there any democracy in the party? Because they are president, they are uh, this. Uh, office where all selected, even the minister are being uh, uh, recommended by the RSS. Is there democracy in the BJP? We are, we, are, we are wondering what they mean by democracy. Because every institution they have killed in the country. They misuse every the institution that the country have built up over the years democratically. Where is democracy in the BJP system? Even the prime minister, honorable home minister, Kiskasad has democracy in BJP. We are wondering about what they are asking Congress to do because this is our system. In the constitution, it is written in the Congress constitution and the rules how the elections should be conducted. We have about 9,000 plus. It's a very small delegates who voted for the party president and all voted, mostly voted. Almost 95, 96% voted for the party, the uh, party civil election. What is wrong with that? This is our system. But where, what is the system of the BJP? What they are doing? Where was this system all the last 24 years? Yes, it come in. Maybe in the entire Nordis, in the rest of the country, where is, uh, where is the, any kind of democratic practice being practiced in the BJP? We are surprised. Because we are Indians for democracy. If democracy, each of us is killing, uh, is very unfortunate what is coming out to the, to the country, what may happen. Even in the South India, there is a murmuring about if in the delimitation, there are more seats in the north and the west part of India, what will happen to the south? They are asking now. Even we are worrying about the system that the present government is implementing government policies. Why is democracy in the implementation of government policies? Why is the planning? Why it has gone? Um, Quick response. And yeah. What he is uh, very proudly talking about the constitution of their party and he is also talking about the system of election. Where was this system of election for the last 24 years? Can you tell me, sir? Yeah. There was no election in the last 24 hours, uh, 24 or 25 years. Why so? You have, if you, you, have if you so strictly follow your constitution, why so? No, no. We have See. been... Con because if you ask us, if you ask is our party... Different? If you there ask our party, we don't need party. an election. We are not changing. We are realizing that those who haven't conducted the election are responsible for what they have done to the party. And that why we are here in the opposition, in our position, because we felt to do and obey our constitution. Now it is changing. People are realizing the mistake we have done. And that it is fortunately, we could be able to conduct this election free and fair. And we are very happy. We can recorrect our history, whatever blunder we made in the past, we may be recorrecting it. Please wish us good luck because there will be a lot of change in the country in, in terms of implementing and a big uh, democratic the country. So last, uh, and is it not true, sir, that in the last almost uh, five decades, four decades, more than four decades, you have been having a president who belongs to the Gandhi family, except for two changes, as I have mentioned already. So. Now, why suddenly did you decide to have an election? Because it is important for us to... Why did you suddenly family. decide to have another pres I no, mean, no, no, a no, president no, outside the, outside the Gandhi family. family? Why suddenly such wisdom for the party that they, are, they have decided to select someone yeah, elected or selected? Uh, we don't know. But uh, yes, why someone from outside the family? Why suddenly? Why after 24 it's, it's years? Suddenly, madam, it is demanded by the by the congressman. And because you are asking us from outside the Gandhi family. You have had a change of president. So it seems You have had a change of president so after 24 years, and you are asking really us where is our system of, of election? We don't need a system of election. Number one, I think BJP is clearly upset and really frustrated. We don't need to be upset. We don't need to be upset. No, no, for what kind of organization? As a president, no. I think they are really frustrated. We don't need to be upset because what kind of organization changes? are happening within the Congress party is none of our concern. Our concern is only the elections. So, so the battlefield so is the I mean, election. Yeah, we will see in the so next general elections, which the upcoming general elections. The every democratic exactly. institutions of we country will see what have happens. no right to question the democratic elections We don't, want, of the we don't want to question. We don't want to question. 
we are absolutely i told you we have no point of we have no concern with your system of the your system of within the organization we actually have no interest but i all all that i wanted to tell you was that this is probably uh, politics of mimicry also navaran you also asked about the timing of bharat euro atra let me tell you that because they are strangling thing in every institute that you have conducted this so called system that you conducted the system of election that you conducted to choose somebody from outside the family why this wisdom after 24 years is it is it that you are trying to mimic us mimic the system of bjp madam madam circumstances were there such that because there was no election for last 24 25 years we admit to that now we have realized we need to change and that we we need we need to have that fair enough fair enough days. and have our election so we had our election now we have a new elected president so let us be uh, concentrate on fair the enough. politics around uh, congress and the bjp we have to actually serve the country together being in the opposition if we are in power tomorrow you are you have to be in the opposition bjp have to be in the opposition so it is for fair for uh, both the parties to have a good uh, this thing party president elected duly by the uh, uh, delegates of the congress party Fair enough. So I have already said there is autocracy and hypocrisy hidden in this system of democracy. Well, these allegations. So we thought that BJP will show some political maturity by face Congress leading the new president, but I think they are really frustrated. Yes, and I think BJP has also changed. BJP has also had to change. You, we, we to totally, we, we congratulate you having a new president. And as I already you. told thank you, you thank we, you, we are, thank we you. actually the system of. Uh, organization that you have these, within yourself is not a point of our concern we are concerned about the battlefield these allegations so, and counter allegations will will continue my last question uh, to both netranjan choudhury and mr devabrata singh uh, do you hope the bharat jodo the bharat jodo yatra of the congress will at least end up in congress jodo in 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 several states where uh, including assam where the party is facing a leadership crisis very quickly So thing is that you know that's as, as I was saying that because they are strangulating the every democratic institute, the spirit of democracy in India. That's why we have to take up this Bharat Tiru Yatra. This is not a political yatra or not a sort of Rathi Yatra for you know electoral mobilizing. Then that's why we are not touching those uh, you know electoral states. So and coming to uh, why this is so because you have India Toro. That's why we have done. We have to. We are compelled to do Bharat Tiru. you have broken up our economic system you have broken up oh, our that's, democratic that's institutions another, so so i think no no bharat has already started joro when even rss general secretary is you know raising concerns about india's economic At conditions the same time so that the means was conducting bharat india joro joro has already started i think the impact is already visible and we are really yes, optimistic yes, yes. by the time it's completed uh, the tsunami will definitely reach delhi so this much i can assure you at the same time when you were conducting the bharat joro the leaders were deserting the congress so 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 clearly clearly yes uh, today was a historic results but what is the way forward for congress and are you confident of a comeback there is a question that every congressman every congress worker would be asking at the end of uh, this well this, long this back crucial result long day. back we told that congress mukh bharat and that's the and uh, we are today discussing in this you know tv studio about congress electoral elections that is still stores that you know uh, we are a force to reckon it and the tsunami is very soon reaching new delhi so just wait and watch final comments uh, mr devarbhata singh uh, yes uh, we are putting up two battles uh, uh, at, a, at the same time so uh, whatever bjp or whichever party want to fight with the congress has to fight in two fronts now in the one hand we have the bharat joro yatra which is galvanizing the country then again we have the different elections uh, in the municipal elections state new state election in front so bjp earlier was uh, easy and uh, happy to mimic congress and uh, criticize congress party now it will be very difficult for the bjp because whatever bjp is losing it goes to the opposition even if it doesn't come to the congress party that is losing for the bjp we are going to chip piece by piece the bjp by one word zero after uh, other by multiple elections that we shall be facing till 2024 uh, hopefully congress will come around and uh, will be able to change the perception that people had with congress party once we be successful in our endeavor janki goswami uh, my last question uh, running short of time uh, well the bjp has been accusing that uh, khadge has been all along 
uh, been backed by the Gandhi family. So end of the day, end of the day, uh, do you think this result, it's, 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 I'm kind of repeating myself, this result suits you because it vindicates your stand, your stand. Vindicates our stand in the sense. In the sense that uh, it's it's the Gandhi family which is it's, still. It's, see, see I've already told you it is nothing but just a portrayal of their rubber stamp politics. So it will not have any impact on their internal working as well as our working. So everything remains the same as it is. It, this is just rubber stamp politics for the Congress. I mean, uh, of the Gandhi family. So if we there is nothing for us to be, uh, uh, you know, we don't need to realign ourselves. We are very, very secured in our own position. Well, uh, I can see Mr. Devarbhata Singh there smiling at the remarks. But let's hope, let's hope uh, this augurs well for the Congress. Uh, and of course, definitely Mr. Kharge, as uh, Sushi Tarur has mentioned, has his task cut out. Yes, yes, there are issues within the Congress. Today, of course, was a historic result day and uh, it will be interesting to see in the months to come how the Congress shapes itself uh, in the leadership of the new AICC chief.